Hello everyone and welcome to another ride overview. Today we're going to take a look at the most iconic ride in the entire game, the merry-go-round. There is nothing better than starting a new scenario, placing down a merry-go-round and hearing the amazing fairground organ style music. The merry-go-round's music is actually really unique. All other rides can play whatever music they like, but the merry-go-round can only play fairground organ style. Not only that, no other ride can play the merry-go-round music. This is why the merry-go-round is the go-to ride for bringing a bit of music to your park. It is unique. It also has a unique breakdown that interacts with the music, which we will talk about later. It gets even better still, as the fairground organ style isn't just one song, no, it's 11 different songs that get selected at random. While the other tracks only last a few minutes, the merry-go-round has about 45 minutes of music to play, which makes it have much more variety. There is a link to a playlist with all tracks in the description. It's a good thing that the merry-go-round is so great for music, as otherwise it doesn't have a whole lot to offer. It's nice for guests who prefer gentle rides, but there are plenty of better rides that are still gentle enough for those guests. For a gentle ride, the merry-go-round is about average, or maybe slightly better than average, but gentle rides are kinda bad by default, so compared to even thrill rides, it's not great. Like other flat rides, the stats of the merry-go-round are really simple. It has base stats of 0 0.6, 0 0.15 and 0 0.3 and then gets 0 0.05 extra in every stat for every rotation it does. The rotations are the only way that you can design your merry-go-round. The standard number of rotations is 9, which you can decrease down to 4 and increase up to 25. More rotations lead to higher stats, but also a longer ride time, so a lower throughput. Here are three merry-go-rounds. The yellow one does 4 rotations, the red one does the standard 9 and the blue one does 25. I let them run at maximum capacity with the highest ticket price possible for one in-game year. Unsurprisingly, the yellow one has had the most guests by far, as it does the fewest rotations. Interestingly though, they all have really similar profits. You can charge about 4 times as much for 25 rotations as you can for 4, and 4 rotations has a throughput about 4 times as high as 25. You might think it would be about 6 times the throughput as it has 6 times fewer rotations, but the shorter the ride time the bigger impact loading times have. 9 rotations seems to achieve a happy balance between the throughput and stats as it makes the most money. This makes your life easy as it means you don't need to change anything about the merry-go-rounds that you put down, if for some reason that 100 extra euros a year is important to you. The merry-go-round attracts 45 guests to the park, which is actually quite a lot for a gentle ride. The only gentle rides that attract more are the car ride and the ghost train with 50. Placing down a few merry-go-rounds around your park gives you nice music, attracts a few hundred guests and keeps some guests off the path, and all for very little money. All this means it's actually a pretty good support ride. There is one more cool thing about the merry-go-round, which is the unique breakdown I mentioned earlier. If a merry-go-round breaks down, there is a chance that it gets a control failure, which is the best breakdown in the game. It will start rotating faster and faster and eventually it will also start violently shaking. Along with this the music speeds up and rises in pitch, which is what makes this so great. If you wait too long with repairing it, it will eventually explode. Nah, just kidding, but that is definitely a popular myth. In reality it won't do anything, except maybe drive you mad, especially if there are 8 of them in an arch over the entrance. Maybe this is what made me so sadistic in this game. With the help of the allow arbitrary ride type changes cheat, you can actually speed up any music style that you like. Simply change the merry-go-round to something else, change the music and then change it back. 
Now make it have a control failure and whatever music it is playing will speed up. My favorite style to do this with is definitely candy style. This is also very good at driving you insane. In the expansions there is also a double deck carousel. This ride behaves exactly the same as the standard merry-go-round, including when it has a control failure. The only differences are that it has double the capacity and slightly higher stats. And that is all you need to know about the merry-go-round. It's an incredibly iconic ride with unique music and a unique breakdown and it is fairly good for a gentle ride. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.